What's up guys and welcome back. Today we're doing something that's near and dear to my heart, slow trolling for Spanish mackerel. But today, we're not only catching the Spanish mackerel, today is gonna be a catch, clean, and cook. So stay tuned in for another exciting episode right here on Salty Sportsman. Oh yeah, I forgot to say something. This episode is a catch, clean, and cook despite the red tide. I'm sure many of you guys may be wondering what's going on with this red tide situation, where you're at, and that's one of the reasons why I'm making this video right now. We're heading out of Anna Marie Island, right out of Bean Point Inlet, and we're gonna see if the red tide is actually affecting the fishery or if it's not. We're trolling right outside of Bean Point, right next to the bait buoy. There we go, fish on, fish on, baby. Nice fish on. Woo! Yes, sir. All right, guys. Woohoo! Nice little Spanish mackerel. This is the targeted species, guys. All right, guys, so how we're doing this is I'm putting it to about three to four miles an hour. And what you wanna do is I'm doing this alone. So, so what you wanna do is you wanna cast the first one. You wanna cast way off to the side of the boat. After you cast out, you want to let it go out maybe another 10, 15 yards and then set your drag the way you want it. Sometimes you get hit right away though. Same thing on the other side, guys. Same thing on this side. What we're going to do Right off the side of the boat. I'm gonna go out another 15 yards or so. Make sure your drag set, you know, relatively tight, but re at the same time, you don't want it too tight. You want it tight enough so that it hooks the fish. That's it. These these hooks, these hooks guys are so sharp that you don't really need to tighten tighten it down too much because the tension of trolling gonna help you out. When I'm fishing by myself guys, I like to only have like a two a two rod spread off the back of the boat. I mean technically I could fish four or six because I've been doing it for so long but if you've never done it before you've never trolled by yourself you just want to put two rods off the back it makes it simple and sometimes even one you only need one bait to catch fish. <laughs> what you want to do when you're trolling especially two rods off the back of the boat if you're if you're trolling one rod, you don't have to worry so much about it. But if you're trolling two rods off the back of the boat, you definitely want to make sure that you take a wide enough turn. When you're turning, you don't want to really, you don't want to, you don't want to turn too sharp. You don't want to turn too sharp because your lines are going to tangle. There we go, fish on. Oh, that was a hit. There he is, fish on. I didn't take it out of gear, guys. Once you know you're hooked up, then you can back off the throttle a little bit. <laughs> fish on, fish on. All right. What a blast this is, guys. I love doing this. One of my favorite things to do right here. This is definitely near and dear to my heart. Oh, that's another nice one. <laughs> That's another nice Spanish! Yes! Look at Spanish, guys. Another nice Spanish mackerel. I'm gonna go measure him, just so you guys can kind of know. 26 inches. What? 26 inch Spanish mackerel, guys. Nice fish. That's an awesome fish. Woo! Super nice fish. Fish on. Fish 
that one, guys. Yeah, nice. I see him back there already. Oh, yeah. yeah, that's a nice Spanish mackerel. Holy smokes. Yeah. <laughs> yes, sir. Look at this fish, guys. This is another nice Spanish mackerel, guys. Awesome fish. I mean, these fish are so underrated. They're so much fun to fight. They can scream a drag, especially if you're fishing light tackle. And they're great to eat. That's why I'm doing a catch and cook on them. Right, guys we're gonna dive right into playing these fish now I don't claim to be the best at playing these fish but I will say this that they are extremely easy to fillet um, what I like to do is I like to score them right here on an angle and then I literally just turn my knife and I just go and I just follow the line I just follow their their spine line, and they're that easy to fillet. I mean, I've been filleting Spanish mackerel for a long time, so it might have a lot to do with feeling, but just like that, that's how I fillet a Spanish mackerel. Super easy to fillet, and I just flip them over, do the same thing, nice cut on a diagonal angle, and I just turn my knife just like this, and I just follow their, their spine line all the way down. Now, like I said, guys, I don't claim to be the best at filleting, but with these catch and cook videos, I hope I get better. But, there we go. Two nice fillets, a Spanish mackerel, and as you can see, I mean, that's not a bad fillet. That's a lot of meat. And what, one thing I like to do when I'm filleting is I love to see what's in their stomach this this girl don't have any anything in her stomach but she she has eggs right here that you can see two nice fillets of spanish mackerel and i just throw them right back on ice look at this spanish mackerel Look at that Spanish mackerel. That's a nice fish, guys. Now that we got them filleted, let's get back to the house so we can throw them on the grill. Now I'm back at the house, guys. I just took a nice shower. Gosh, showers feel so good out fishing. And uh, got the boat all cleaned up, ready to go for tomorrow. And now it's time to get into the cooking stage of my first ever catch, clean, and cook. I hope you guys are as excited as I am. Let's get inside and get the cooking on the way. And now for the official ingredients voiceover. Ingredient number one, olive oil cooking spray. Number two is one lemon. Number three is garlic salt. Number four is pasta. And don't forget your aluminum foil. Let's get started. First things first, we're gonna clean up our filet. And how, what do I mean by that? What we're gonna do is you're gonna see now we have a line right here. We're gonna cut that out. We wanna score right through the skin. It's the blood line. Then, we're gonna cut the stomach line out.
Now what we're gonna do, we're just gonna simply take a piece of tin foil, we're gonna lay it out just like this. And what I like to do is I like to spray this olive oil cooking spray on it. This prevents it from sticking. So you're gonna actually put the seasoning over top on to the tin foil, and then you're gonna put the fish skin down. The next step is you're gonna spray that fish down one more time with the olive oil cooking spray. And you're gonna coat over top with the garlic salt. Gonna cut the lemon in half. Squeeze all these together. We're gonna fold it like this. And we're gonna squeeze the lemon right inside there. And then kind of cram it together like this, and we're ready for the grill. All right, now we're gonna preheat the grill to 500. After the grill is preheated, we're gonna turn it on low. And we're simply gonna put our fish on there, just like that. The pasta is super simple and super fast to make. It's literally made in about five minutes. So you want to cook the fish the majority of the way before cooking the pasta. The pasta is only going to take two tablespoons of butter or margarine, one cup of water, and two thirds cup of milk. Mix it all together and you're literally done in five minutes. After it's cooked, put it on a plate over a bed of pasta. And there you have an affordable, amazing dish easy to make. There you guys have it. This is my favorite dish for making Spanish mackerel. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, please leave a comment in the comments below and like this video. Give me a thumbs up if you want me to do more catch, clean, and cook episodes. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode and I'll see you next time.